guys, Lindsay Barron here from Applied Mortgage. I'm just gonna make this quick video about your down payment and your down payment deposit when you sign the purchase and sale. There seems to be a little confusion over that. So in this example, let's just say that your purchase price is 200,000. So that's gonna be your purchase price. Your down payment, let's say, is 5% down. So what that means is 200,000 times 5%, 10,000 is what you need to put down on the house. So picture your house here, right? It's worth 200,000. You have put into it 10,000. So you own a little bit of your house. This is your equity. The rest of it, which is 200,000 minus 10,000, is 190. That's what you need to come up with for your mortgage financing. When you write up an offer with your realtor, they're gonna ask you for a down payment deposit. Typically with the offer, it's about $500. And then later on in the process, once you're through your home inspection and you sign the purchase and sale, they're gonna want another deposit with the purchase and sale. And that varies, but let's just say in this case, it's 3,000. So you've put down 3,500 and that goes toward the original total down payment you need of 10,000. So by the time you get to the closing of the house with your attorney, out of your $10,000 down, you've already given them 3,500. So you're gonna be left with a 6,500 balance for the down payment at the closing.